A subject that you don't really hear uh, as much about in the 16th or 17th century is left-handedness. Um, I'm right-handed myself, so it's not really a subject that crosses my mind that often. Some other people that tend to think that there was some kind of stigma against left-handed people in the past. Um, looking at 16th and 17th century art, uh, I don't think that's really the case. Um, left-handed people would have a harder time to learn to write, uh, because uh, if you're right-handed and you go from, uh, from left to right, uh, you go away from the trail of ink you leave behind. Uh, when you're left-handed, uh, your hand tends to tends to move over the ink, which makes it harder for you to yeah harder for you to write. Within 17th century art, it's kind of hard to uh, to judge uh, if someone is left or right-handed. Most people, uh, as today, would have been right-handed. But the easiest way to spot if someone is left-handed uh, is by how they carry or use a sword. Now, this isn't as easy as just looking uh, at an image of a single person. Uh, and seeing if they have a sword in their left hand or um, are wearing a sword on their right hip. Because a lot of artists will, would copy their own work or the work of other artists and mirror the image, which would make a right-handed person a left-handed person. And because this is happening, we do know that the image of a left-handed person wasn't really something uh, people cared about one way or the other. Now, the way to spot left-handed people in historical images isn't that hard. Uh, the easiest way is to have a painting with a group of people and if you have uh, some people uh, wearing a sword on their right hip uh, or using a sword in their left hand and other people in the same image uh, wear a sword on their left hip and the right hand then you know that uh, at least some of those people should, uh, would have been uh, left-handed. And we do see fencing manuals that discuss uh, defense against someone who is holding a sword in the left hand. If this video has been interesting to you at all, or you liked the video, uh, please leave a comment below. And once again, we're going to look at spinning coin.